Tan tan tan. Tan tan tan. Why are we leaving Jamaica so early? Well, normally we stay till the 1st of September, uh, but we're leaving Jamaica this Sunday and we arrive in Belgium Monday morning. So, but why? Why are we leaving? Well, the first thing, the first big thing is because our car, our car we rent for two months, got stolen this morning. Well, don't know why, don't know how, because we're in a resort something it's well it's not really a resort but it's it's protected by a guard and stuff so that's really weird um but okay so our car got stolen and it's very difficult to go to things in jamaica without a car and uh, we already paid for a car for two months so that's really sad so going by taxi or by bus it's gonna be a lot uh, it's gonna be a lot more expensive than uh, rent a car but we already rented a car and we paid for the car so we lost our money and the car and then a taxi and the bus will be way too expensive to do things so that's really sad and by foot it's just impossible we live here um, in a house in Ocho Rios and um, it's also paid for it for two months and we really got stuck here because it's our home right now so traveling to another city or something is just yeah you can stay there for one night in a hostel or something but then you have to come back because you paid for this house so that's a that's a tricky thing to do if you want to go to another country don't if you're not if you want to see the whole country or you want to see several things about uh, of the country like um, several places like here in Jamaica we want to go to Kingston Kingston as well and to other um, to other far places in other Rios like a two-hour drive or a three-hour drive or something then you need a car so also I want to say if you come to Jamaica and you rent a car be really careful who you rent off because it can all be corrupted you never know just want to say and um, another thing is why we leave here um, is just also that we stay in one place it's just too long to stay in one place I think it's better if you want to explore the country by yourself better if you go hostel by hostel or hotel I don't know but um, yeah I think that's way better and we um more exploring things that's that's cool but then yeah so as my mom will say you live and you learn so we learned again to do something some things different than we did now another thing also that i wanted to talk about is the people here well the most the most most of the people here are not that um, wealthy they are really poor well, most of the people are poor or slightly poor I don't know how to say it more like that but every time you go on the streets it's just every every single time people come to you and beg for money um, or it is do you want to buy something from me and or it is um, yeah sure i will show you the way so they show us the way and then we think oh my god this this guy or this woman is really friendly and then at the end of showing the way they just ask for money so there goes our imaginary thing we made up like oh my god these people are very lovely and very friendly no they just want money i not say that that's that's a, that's a bad thing or something because that's that's their living that's the only thing how to make money it's the only thing how they make money so yeah and it's that's also a pity thing i think is that hard to make friends here because everyone wants just money and if they see if they see tourists like us they think oh my god yeah they have money they have a lot of money they're gonna give me money they 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 shall give me money and 
the thing is, we're not rich. We don't have that much money. Uh, okay, we're not we're not poor either. Because, but we can't give everybody money. It's just insane. And um, we thought, yeah, after a few weeks, like or a few days, uh, they're gonna know us here in this in this village in this in this town, and uh, they're gonna see, oh yeah, they're they're those people. They live here, I think, and they're not gonna beg anymore. That's what we thought. But the opposite is true. The more we come, the more they back. And um, yeah, that's just very exhausting. Uh, yeah. But um, yeah, other things I want to say about Jamaica is that Jamaica is really beautiful. The sea is just amazing. That's one thing I'm gonna miss. The sea. If if it's one thing I want to bring home is the sea. I love swimming in the sea. I love just being there. Um, also, nature here is very, very beautiful. Um, also, a bad thing is though I think we come in we we came in summer, so it's now summertime in Jamaica, and we thought it was rain season, so it's gonna rain once in a while. But it isn't rain season; it is hurricane season, and that means that it's really, really hot. With chance of uh, hurricanes. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's just also very not sad because I don't really mind the heat but this is just very warm very warm you have just sometimes that you're like eh, 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 water can't go any farther oh, so that's not really doable so then you have to just stay or go in a room with AC which we don't have. I don't mind that because I don't really love AC. It's um, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, and it's really not okay. okay I'm, I'm going off the topic here. So that are reasons why we're going back to Belgium earlier. So, but I'm gonna film this week, and what we're gonna do most of the time is just, um, I think, laying at the beach. Not laying. I'm just gonna swim. Um, that's also a thing you have to pay for the beach I mean come on you have to pay two dollars a day and it closes by four so you can go on the beach from um, 8 30 a.m. I think until 4 p.m. and you have to pay two dollars per person for one day so every day you have to pay again two dollars and <laughs> that's really sad because who the it owns the sea come on I mean Urgh. we also can go to Popeye because Popeye is uh, very lovely is very friendly and um, that's one of the people we made friends with so that's cool also the children are very nice and I'm really gonna miss them they're so cute um, we can go there but then we have to take a taxi as well because it's a little bit far but there we can go so that's that's probably most of the days we're gonna we're gonna be there I think um, also to say goodbye because they don't know that we're leaving yet so early so that's what we have to say and maybe eat some more vegan food in some restaurants I don't know you will see we will see and yeah that's what I wanted to say to you guys it's why this trip ended so fast really sad about it actually but also a little bit of glad to going home because sometimes it's really hard to be here but yeah I'm also gonna miss it especially see Car is probably gone forever. 
and so is the money. But now we're going to eat <laughs> something. Uh, same place? Yeah. Open. All right. If it's open. It's Normally it's open. It's open. Yeah. Till 11. That's it. Everything you said, we already knew, more or less. Well, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those special atomic bombs haven't gone off. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. Thanks for listening. Ten thanks for watching, and um, see you in a few. Uh, and see you. <laughs>